be able to, to chat with somebody and talk about games a little. You, yeah. Maybe even not talk okay. about games. Talk about whatever we're doing. And then mm -hmm. also I'm uh, drawing a frog at the same time. <laughs> as as you should be as is your as is your right and as your power yeah it's it's very funny like that i have created a game and i'm like creating a game that necessitates me to learn <laughs> skills that i do not have and to do them quickly <laughs> yes absolutely i think i feel like there's truly nothing more than tabletop rpgs that gets you like in a position where you have to learn every skill or like yeah every single life skill you have can be relevant while doing tabletop rpgs absolutely and like because uh most of us are not like bringing in the big bucks on this uh if you want to do mm -hmm. something you kind of need to just you, ne you need to either find someone that you know that like you know that you can work with or fund it externally mm -hmm. just on your mm -hmm. own on your own dime or just learn it yourself <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah exactly um it's like i and like you know um even with possum creek it's like yeah oftentimes i could outsource this to someone but that would take more time take and more also time. would be yeah. inconvenient absolutely um and uh, it's just it's just it's more easy it's easier if it's me yeah um I, I should probably do like the tiniest bit of like due diligence as a streamer and like say, uh, hey, thanks for tuning in, anybody. Uh, I'm hanging out with Jay Dragon, incredible Hello. designer, uh, industry luminary, uh, oh, God. community builder, fantastic general person, uh, designer behind Wander Home, Yazebas, and more. You know, you know what I oh didn't know? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that you were going to be publishing, um, that Possum Creek was publishing uh, Tidebreaker. Oh, so we're, we, we're helping Tidebreaker get published. We're not technically. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're not, we're not technically, uh, like, Tidebreaker's publisher, but we're working with Nick to publish it. Okay, cool. I, I, uh, I got the yeah. package and I was like, Possum Creek, is, is Yazifa's done there's no way Yazibas is oh. done <laughs> oh my god no, no. and then i opened we, um, it and i was like oh yay yeah basically what we were able to do which i'm i'm really glad we were able to do this and i hope we can do this more where we were able to um we gave nick a, a loan for the the kickstarter oh, um awesome. which helped out a lot of, like initial art and stuff yeah um and then we handled shipping and distrib we handled shipping and we're gonna like a uh, we and tony Vicinda are going to be handling like distribution after the fact. Oh my, that's awesome! Um, that is so Tony, cool. Tony, op Tony operates our warehouse, so oh no kidding. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. It's like it's almost kind of a coincidence because he um he like works for the company that operates our warehouse. It's not like oh yeah, we got Tony. It's oh, like okay, oh you okay. know the I company, and then Tony is there, and Tony's our like connection and is our is our like person on the inside. Okay. Um, but you know, shipping logistics, the best part of any, of any, uh, Every, you know, production, any, any game work. Everybody loves we all shipping love, logistics. That is why we're we all, all here. Love, that's why we're all here. Yeah. You know, you can really tell I love shipping. Like, I think all the time, the, the thing of like, you know, uh, get a, get a job doing what you love and you never have to work a day in your life. And it's like, that's not true. Get a job doing what you love, and you will spend the rest of your life doing bizarre things only tangentially related to the original job. Exactly. And you'll spend your life making making strange, strange objects that only somewhat connect. Yeah, totally. And like, it's phenomenal that that stuff gets done. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I yeah, I did not have becoming like learning shipping logistics on my like, you know, twenty twenty one bingo but you know oh gosh, I, I, yeah. I i gotta i got a handle for it i mean right now you're talking to me and i'm i'm tracing a frog's hand <laughs> <laughs> you're doing a pretty good job of it I'm, I'm watching you so so it's this is this is a magic trick for people that that don't know it um mm -hmm. you know art a little bit you, you know art more than yes. a little bit yeah. you you know what you're what the heck you're doing you you should be the one mm -hmm. showing people how to do things there's a button here that says stabilizer <laughs> And when you don't have stabilizer, yeah. your line looks like that. 
And when you do have stabilizer, mm-hmm. oh, it looks so much better. <laughs> oh yeah, no, stabilizer is a magic trick. I don't yeah. know my digital art that well. I um, what's it called? I so, I uh, my parents are both artists, mm-hmm. and so there's a lot of like art technical skills I've picked up, even though I'm not like an art person by trade. Okay. Um, but like I um, what do you call? Um. Uh, I'm just saying hi to chat real quick and hey. in chat. First time, hi, folks. And I I gotta tell you, I'm uh i'm so into this idea of having people come on and just chat with them i'm going to make like a little card that goes on the side of the screen that has like who's in the room it's gonna be great i'm pumped and i'm so glad you're. oh that's a great idea that rules it's gonna be like a little slideshow that like shows what you're all about and gives a link to your co-host that's that's I'm like force people to go to co-host uh, oh yeah of course of course yeah for forcibly turning co-host on the big thing for that yeah. blg cred so i can be BLG. um but I have a lot of like random technical skills for my parents both being artists. Yeah. But then I never really like pursued it. And then okay. like I studied art history in college. Oh cool. So I know a lot of like like I'm I'm able like I know a lot of the art world. I almost became a curator. That was kind of my like you know, that was like the thing I considered doing oh, or cool. like pursuing. If uh if if the whole game design thing didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, the, going going for the 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 second biggest money maker of art curation. Yes, uh, classic if, if the money maker of, of Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah, easy. Um hi Al. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Um, thank you for the follow. And yeah, thank no, you I <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I'm really I'm really good at my parents warned me they were like don't you dare become an artist like pursue something profitable find some... and I was like absolutely not <laughs> like, yeah, I'll, I'll find something profitable have you heard of tabletop RPGs <laughs> hey kid <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like analog game design and failing that like I don't know novel writing art curation really uh really really swinging for the the fences there oh yeah absolutely oh my god that does not work <laughs> Bunk. yeah wow okay i was so confident for like a second that that was gonna look like a leg i think this frog needs shorter shorter pants. i think can i can i can i offer a, a moment of of thought on that yes absolutely um i think um What's throwing it off is that you have the shape of the frog, but it's not really following the like the 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 ball and joint structure that makes up the frog's foot. Okay. Okay. So like if you look if you think about what the frog's foot is doing, right? It's the you've got like the balls on the tips and then the the like the joint that's anchoring. Like yeah. right, like the the structure of it. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, and I feel like like replicating the structure is more important than replicating the exact lines. Yeah, I think in order to make it look right. I think, I think you're the right. important part is that it looks like three balls with with three skinny fingers, and that will I think because like right now like the reason it looks blobby is because it doesn't like it doesn't the, have the that shape that well. Is yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's it's like it's the line work, but the line work doesn't you know because it's like with the with the frog photo there was like the highlight of that of that middle finger that like makes it clear. There's kind of more of a frog that body there. there. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I, I didn't intend to bring you on to be like, you have to teach me how to do art, <laughs> <laughs> but, but it helps. Oh my God. How great of a, of a, uh, like a scam would that be? I just, that'd be so funny. It's like, hi. Yeah. Welcome to my stream. I'm going to, we're just, we're you just, have, you have to teach me art now. <laughs> we're just going to casually chat. I just happen to be, I happen to be working on layout. You're a professional layout person. Oh, how funny. <laughs> art school grift. Exactly. Right. Just slowly yes. trick yes. myself into having it. <laughs> God. I um, what do you call? Uh, it's it's so, so wild having Grubby because Grubby Grubby does all the layout for Possum Creek, so she's mm-hmm. the, the she's the actual expert. Yeah. Um, but I learned a lot of skills like before I started working with her, and like I am like able to understand what's going on better yeah. than most. Yeah. Um, which it just it just always feel I always feel like the fucking like. I'll point something out and she'll be like, you idiot. You think I haven't tried that? <laughs> or she was roasting me. Um, she was roasting me yesterday 
because there was a font that she wanted she was curving over the top of a portrait but the font was by default italicized so with the curve it looked like it was falling to the right a lot okay. and i was oh, like yeah, yeah. oh i tried manually unitalicizing it because there's a thing you can do in indesign where you select the text and you change its slant in such a way that can kind of like force something italic or force something unitalic um oh, cool. and, and grubby was like and Grubby was like, I taught you that trick. And I was like, no, you didn't. And then she just looked at me and I was like, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe you did. Maybe you did. Maybe, maybe, maybe you did. <laughs> who, who could possibly know at this point? Who could possibly know? Who, who could possibly know? It's so, so long ago. Yeah. Who's could, to possibly say? Could have been anyone. Could have been anyone. Ab absolutely. Yeah. With, with, I'm liking what you're doing here a lot, by the way. I'm enjoying I, the, I enjoying feel, the, the sketch. Thank you. I feel like that's going to get me like a better idea just to follow the leg. I think you were right. To follow the leg gives... And I think maybe mm -hmm. the, like to have... Let me go back to my to my little sketch. I, I draw like a little bit in real life, <laughs> but digital mm -hmm. is so much different and so much harder. Digital is and... so hard. I'm so bad at digital art. Um, I'm good at like I'm good at like glitch art. Like I can I can make things like fucking weird. Okay. Yeah. On purpose, but like I can't make things weird. I think I can make things like good. I can only make things strange. I I feel like I feel like I can't even do that. Like I can I can draw little cartoony things. Like like you stick me at like mm -hmm. a in like a third grade classroom. I am uh, mm -hmm. the best artist that any of those kids have ever seen. Um, <laughs> And they're like, oh, you can draw Pikachu? And I'm like, yeah, I can draw a Pikachu. I'm the best at drawing a Pikachu. <laughs> Obsessed. But, Obsessed. but uh, like, in terms of actually, like, doing that in, like, a meaningful way that makes a product content. Yeah, that is much harder. Yeah. But this is the bone, theoretically. So, like, we'd be looking like this for the ball of it. Maybe even bigger than that. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, give it like. Yeah. Yeah, like some good body to it. Mm-hmm. This guy's probably tilting out kind of this different way because the frog toes, I think, can like turn a little bit. They can do some funky things. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always drawing frog bones. I am drawing frog bones less than I should, given that I need to draw frog bones for this thing. <laughs> I, I love. Frogs have such a delightfully shaped body. They're so I've great. been looking at a lot of pictures of salamanders lately for um what do you call? Um my <laughs> the minis I've been making. Um I've been like painting these Warhammer minis oh, and I've been yeah. like basing their style on salamanders. Oh my gosh, I've been loving your your uh your mini drawings. I I mean Thank your you, mini painting. Oh yeah, yeah. I Warhammer is such a bad game, dude. <laughs> it's such a bad game. I... I hate that it's like climbed its way inside my head because it's dog shit. Yeah. I know almost nothing about it, to be honest. Okay. I... So the rules make Dungeons and Dragons look super easy. Oh, no. <laughs> um, Like the rules make Dungeons and Dragons look rules light. Um, that is wild. The... The setting is a, like, a parody of a, like, fascist dystopia. Okay. That the fan base, only some of the fan base understands is a parody, right? So oh, you've got no. kind of the gamut of people who are, like, goofing around with this, like, bizarre setting. And then you've got people who are, like... No, no, I'm I'm in on that. Oh, that looked. Oh, that looked nice. I like that. Line. Yeah, that, that yeah, was yeah. good. That was good. I shouldn't have undone it. Uh, can oh, I well. redo it? It's probably too um, late. Oh well. You can. I think you can control. I think you can control Z or control Z's. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, Let me see if I can. Was that it? Is that's not it? That's too small. Yeah. I think I screwed um, it up. I think I it over. Um, and then, and then the hobby is expensive. The company price gouges, uh, and. Uh, yeah, so it's just like it's like everything about um, the the game is not good, right? Yeah. Um, 
but it, it grabs my brain. It, it just gets in there and grabs my brain. When I was um, a, when I was a kid, I had a big near miss with getting into Warhammer. That was almost mm-hmm, my first okay. geek property. Uh, mm-hmm. And then it just didn't, it didn't quite like. I think like the kid that I was, that was obsessed with it, ended up moving. Oh yep yep. And so yeah, I was I was the kid who was obsessed with it as when I was like eight. Um, <laughs> you dodged it, a bullet, says NL. <laughs> you absolutely Honestly, dodged a bullet. Did. No. Yeah. You you absolutely did. Um, it truly like. I feel like it says a lot about me that, like, for me, grim, dark, edgy shit feels like like eight year old stuff. Like, it yeah. feels adolescent and it's like quality. Like, Morkborg truly feels like like no no shade to Johan and and Peter and such, but there is an element to it that really just gives me like intense. Like, I am thirteen yeah. years yeah. old. Uh, <laughs> you know, energy in in terms of like I don't any think... kind of engagement. I don't think that's wrong either. I kind of think that that's like, mm-hmm. I think that, that, that there are ways like, you know, th- there's people that approached grimdark with like every, every edgy bone in their body. But I mm-hmm. think a lot of people do approach it as like, you know, Hey, this would be silly, you know, like, like an, yeah, like that's an true. I think like, like it's, it's, thing. yeah, I think like, it's important that like, I don't know the darkness right like like the the like which by the way grimdark comes from warhammer which i think is really funny like it, it originates as a like as a, as a serious phrase oh my god yeah the, the the opening epigraph of warhammer is in the grim darkness of the far future there's only war and that's where the phrase grimdark comes from is the, that in the grim darkness of the far future this idea to start um, doing these calls was the best idea i've ever had because <laughs> i'm learning i'm, I'm getting- Art lessons. I'm, I'm giving you lessons le- about the history of war gaming. Yeah, that's it's incredible. I'm so excited. I had no <laughs> idea that that's where that like term came from. I thought it came from like I don't know, like high fantasy. I know, right? Stuff. But no, it's 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 a Warhammer, it's a Warhammer phrase. Um, I feel like this the this, this leg is, is a little it's a little odd in terms yeah. of what it's doing. I agree. Um, I agree. I'm trying to figure out what is odd about it. I can't really tell. Can you it's a frog try leg coming out of pants is part of the issue. <laughs> well, so I think like here, try just finishing the leg without the without the fourth finger. Oh, like just like bring it up. You know what? That might work just fine. Let me try that. See out. what that looks like? Because it might be that the like the like based on what the foot is doing, the fourth finger might need to be like mostly hidden. Yeah. Like, so maybe just try. Just you know, bringing it up and then seeing like, oh, can you slip the fourth finger in there? If the this was toe. like a leg, yeah, like if it's just if the leg is just done, what yeah. does it look like? And then it's like, okay, well then, and then so like, and so like, what's the like the structure it's on? Right, there's this. So the idea is these, like other... that they're standing on like a shield, like they've got like their foot like holding up a shield, and I I do not care yeah. how tall that shield is. So maybe I, I can... maybe the fourth finger needs to like just be going behind the shield. Yeah. If I've got like the line like that way it's mostly hidden. If yeah. like the line is right here ish. Then like maybe it's like a little bit of a little bit of something. We like... making frogs, Spencer? Hey Spencer. Yeah, we're making frogs. Here's here's uh Sarah uh Sarah Muckroot, the the frog knight of the bog eaters. Phenomenal! I love Frog Nights. I love Frog Nights too. Self, self, you know, self-evident, but I yeah. adore Frog Nights. Yeah, and I figured they'd have a nice little, they'd have a nice little crop top and some big muscles, and that'd be, that'd be fun. Oh, <laughs> phenomenal! Um, in a D and D campaign that I ran for like four years in college, one of the players had a character who was S- Sir Mortimer Moot, Marquis of the Moor, uh, and he was a That's he was amazing. a frog paladin. That's who, incredible. Yeah, who rode around on a giant? Uh, what was it a giant otter? I think. Just fan- just fantastic. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Yeah, I agree about edgy content. I think edginess is better when it's leaning into itself. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's like edginess isn't interesting when it's not aware it's edgy. Like, 
Yeah. One of the things that makes Zweihander fall flat, even beyond all the other reasons Zweihander falls flat, uh, I think is that like it's a game where like it, it doesn't really understand that it's edgy. Like it thinks yeah. it's like a serious thing. And it, yeah. like like a totally lot of like early Warhammer, a lot of the setting of early Warhammer was a parody of like Thatcher era British culture yeah because and there's a lot that's what the like, whole that's what the whole deal with the orcs is right that they're like yeah the orcs the orcs are football players yeah like they're they're Love they're that. like right wing you know football pl- like or uh yeah football fans and yeah, like yeah that's and then like but we lose the context and it's 40 years later and people are just like oh the orcs are cockney because that's just like what they are like they don't yeah. understand like and so it's like edginess is interesting when it's like oh ho you know like with them in our noses at you. Like, we're goofing around with our weird edgy shit. And yeah. then when it's like, yeah. Oh, I, I do like sad religious edginess. I love, I do love when, like, I love when the Catholic Church goes off, you know? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I have figured out another issue with this foot, and that is that it is entirely yeah. too small. It is too small. It's but you know small. what you can do? I can make it bigger, I think. Have you, is this Photoshop? This is uh, Affinity. Uh, I mean, yeah, Uh, Affinity. Can you see if there's a tool that it might have that I don't know if it has? If you go to edit, I think. Let's see. I wonder if I have to select it first. So if I select it. It would be up there. It would be be a resource. I'm looking for content or scale. There's, let me see. There's got to be. There, there's no way this doesn't have. They might not because content aware scale is. Oh, content aware scale. Okay. I was going to. Okay. It's called it scale. In painting. It's called in painting. No, hold on. Do you see? Hold on. I'm looking for. Oh, if I can spell affinity. Underwear. Is this illustrator? Is that what this okay, is called? I don't think, I don't think affinity has content aware scale specifically, which is a shame. Okay. So that's one of my little cheats. Um, but I think you can still just resize the foot yeah, and then like adjust the lines with the race there and it'll be okay. Yeah. Just a, this is so this is very silly that I do not know how to resize something. <laughs> oh, uh control T. Control T selecting oh you can select the foot, control T. Yeah, that should switch to transform. Okay. You are Control T. Hmm. I don't know if it's working or not. I don't know if it is either. Okay, so I grab it. Um, the stream is always behind, so I, I never know if it's actually working. Oh yeah, um, true. You can also go into edit, and then from edit, like once you have things selected, go to edit and then transform. Why doesn't it have that? That's gotta have that. Cut, copy, it's got it right. There's no way. There's no. There's got to be a way to transform. Oh yes, okay, there. There layer, definitely is. Layer just... transform. That's not what I'm looking for. Select. Ah uh, boy. There's grow shrink. That doesn't seem right either. Grow and shrink. I think is that, but it maybe. It could. Be. <laughs> This is so weird. This seems like something that should Honestly, be very obvious. We're all we're all learning how technology works together. Oh, select. Oh, in the move tool, apparently hit V. Let's v. See. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, there it is. We're there adjusting. you go. There you go. Okay. Thank you very much, NL. I think I think Sir Muckroot has a dainty foot regardless. Oh yeah, yeah. Sir Muckroot. I uh, would also maybe make his foot a little squashed. A little squashed? Oh, oh yeah, that might. just a little like a little I was gonna say a little, a little other way. It's a little gluk. Yeah, I don't know why, I'm just like a little gluk. A little uh <laughs> What's this? Oh, my god, what am I doing? Yeah, I know how to do art. I can do my own art. Art. This is this is what art looks like. This is a this is classic art. Doesn't get more artsy than this. I will say I'm already happier with it just in terms of the size. Like, yeah, that alone yeah. is making me happier with it. 
Yeah, absolutely. I wonder if it needs to rotate a tiny bit. Mm. Like if it's like this, maybe. Mm. Is that cooking with fire? I, I think either way looks good, frankly. I'm I'm okay. on board with either. I think Sir Makrut split. Yeah. I think uh, I trust your artistic vision. <laughs> Thank you. I've got so little artistic vision. I am just designing <laughs> little guys and going like, all right. And so there's the thing. All right. That's cool. really all it is. That's, that's um that already makes me happier with it. That is all all game design. That is all creative work. It's just making little guys. Honestly, honestly, totally true. The fucking what? nitpicking in Yazebas was out of was wild just in terms of like trying to get the little guy nailed down. Like there are so many like Yeah, yeah. Like, I had a second like, and I thought people were coming at you for the little guys and I was like, You gotta be kidding me. You got it. Oh, it's not yeah. even out yet. And they're coming at you for the little guys. <laughs> oh but yeah, no, like no, getting everything sure. just perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You got to It's like it's you got to really like. It was literally like what was it? There was um there was one character where M and I spent like a solid couple of hours like just arguing about one bingo. I think the Yababa. <laughs> yeah, the Yababa. The in a, in a recent uh, update, I showed off some of the one more multiverse stuff, and there was a typo that said Yaseba is Yababa, um, and that's getting a lot that's of nice. that's Yababa like, now. Yeah, Yababa, she's yeah. Yababa. Exactly. <laughs> oh, um, thank you, NL. <laughs> Gonna get frog art for frog night fan art. Gonna there there will be though if that if you did that there would be fan art available before like a public release of this game. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is true of Yuseva right now, to be fair as well. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, but like, you know, that's different. That's different. That's different. That's different. Yeah, that's different. You haven't even, you haven't even crowdfunded it, yeah. <laughs> Why am I making a raster layer? <laughs> oh wait, no, this is it is supposed to be a raster layer. Why am I making a new layer is the bigger question. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should make the I should make the shield as a new layer. Many layers. Yeah. Look at that. I labeled a layer. That's how you know I'm not a real artist. That's, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Um, What's up, nerds? It's GM Jeff Stormer in the what? his house. What's up, nerds? Yay. Oh my god, it's Jeff Stormer. Love wow. Him. Jeff, how's it going? I am. Um, Jeff is great for the energy of what's up, nerds. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Jeff and I now live about, like, I think, like, less than half a mile from each other. Oh, um, I'm so jealous. Yeah, it rules. We we played a little Apocalypse Keys, which was good. And I'm going to force Jeff to play Lancer. Um, oh, okay. First, decided to run a, a Lancer uh, West Marches game, which. I'm hoping it'll be like two okay tastes that taste great together. <laughs> well, perfectly I like, I like West Marches. I like West Marches too. It's actually my preferred way to run games before the pandemic yeah. was yeah. like, you know, make a big group chat and be like, whoever's here is here. <laughs> we'll I mean, see what happens. That's basically and, and, what we were trying to do with um, Protean City. Mm -hmm. It just didn't really work out that way. Uh, yeah, for sure. And Lancer, like, accomplishes a lot of the goals i need because it's a um like the system is kind of close enough to dungeons and dragons that i can use it as a way to get newer people in nice but nice far enough away from dungeons and dragons that it opens the doorway to doing more funky things yeah and also i think because everyone's kind of not familiar with it it'll be like they'll they'll be less kind of conflict of familiarity you know yeah yeah that totally makes sense mm -hmm. i'm a little tempted to just be like use a shape tool <laughs> yeah i would do that i wouldn't fucking this shield seems like annoying to draw yeah it's i i think that's maybe the way to do it does this not have shape tools this has to have shape tools it has shape tools in raster i mean in vector <laughs> i'll just hop over to that there you go. Yeah. Um. 
I can do it. It's just like a polygon. I, I just things I want to do a hex crawl, but it's so hard. Well, I guess oh, maybe gosh. I'm in the right place because you've got you've got hex. You you're working on all sorts of things with crawls, I but love... <laughs> I want to do a hex crawl. Uh, I love a hex Brandon, crawl. But I don't want to do like the 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 loot, like the loot attack, you know, cycle. Mm. Right? Like I don't want to do the um, the 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 like leaving civilization into the wilds to loot stuff and then yeah, come back yeah. time, which is the kind of underlying thing that a lot of uh x girls do yeah totally uh, i don't know how else to approach that i don't know what else what else is going on yeah there's there's um there there's a bunch of hex crawls are so weird because it is its own does like You'd think it would be its own design space, right? Because, like, you'd think that everyone who does hex crawls would be chatting with each other uh, all the time. But, like, there is so much, like, there, there's such a huge separation between the, like, indie folks that are doing hex crawls and, like, the OSR folks that are doing hex crawls and, like, the D&D folks who are doing hex crawls and... Like, it's just weird. It's just very it strange. It is weird. It's it's the thing where I feel like it's like it's it's a tool, um, but it's also like I think different people are relating to it in different ways. And I totally. think like I don't know. I find um, <laughs> apocalypse keys hex crawls destroying your mind. I think, like, what's hard is, like, I think that for me, one of the big questions comes down, as it often does, to, like, how present and, like, how how intrusive is the hex crawl? Honest, like, yeah. like, because, like, yeah. that's kind of always the thing that, like, games love to come back to is, like, is this a, like, a world that is functioning by the rules and principles of a hex crawl? Or is this a, um, or is this a world and the hex crawl is this like loose is like the simulation of it? Like, yeah. How yeah. are the players aware of the hexes? You know, how do the, you how, know, how strict do you keep to the hexes? You know, exactly. Like, like deciding those things ends up being. Why is this not cooperating with me? <laughs> I know oh, how to use vectors. So vectors. hard. I know how to use vectors. Why is this not happening? Shapes are sh vectors are so annoying. I I like I started out with vectors and was like starting to really like it, and then I was like, no, I'll learn a new thing to do. And I I, I will say like <laughs> doing doing it in Pixel is so much easier in my mind. It just keeps on selecting it. It's, I think it's because the entire thing isn't vector. That seems bad. That seems bad. Okay. This is selected. How do I add a node? Drag and shift to add nodes to... Oh, no, the to add nodes to select it. Please? Yeah. Oh, my God. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. This is also the very weird thing That's about me trying. I what? I I started streaming, uh, singing on stream. I started humming the um the Tom's Diner. Oh, uh, song, and then I remembered that that you're on a, you're uh, on a stream. You're gonna kill us. Insane. Yeah, I'm gonna get you fucking copyright striked by by uh, Susan Vega. Yeah, for yeah. My, or or Fallout Boy if they if they figure out what what I'm doing. You know what? Bring it on, Fallout Boy. Yes, I, I, I saw you in concert. I'm not afraid. Some legends are dulled. <laughs> if if some I got a if I got a like a strike of some kind, it would actually be kind of it would almost be like nice because it would be like, oh, someone's paying attention to this. That's sweet. lesbian. So I was at a lesbian bar um last night with Grub. And the bartender there was talking to us about copyright violations, and she told us that for the past year, 
um, she's been getting emails from uh, like this this music company about copyright violations, being like, you have to sign up for a license to play our music at your bar. At your bar? And she showed us the email, and it's like intense. It's like a serious, like they are threatening to send lawyers after her yeah. sort of thing. Um, and she's like, I don't know, I've just been ignoring it. And like, I don't know what is more wild to me, the fact that uh, like she is like being like the fact that somehow this music company knows that she is playing their music without their permission. Yeah. Or, or that she's just fucking ignoring it. And it's pretending and it's that it's like, whatever. That is, yeah, yeah, that is like, also wild. Like, like you're going to get, you're going to get in so much trouble. Hey, and she's like, I'm just going to run away. And I'm like, that, I don't know if this is sustainable, ma'am. You, you own a bar. You can't run away. Yeah, Jeff. This is this is Brandon has beef with Fall Out Boy, that can be the next yeah, RPG you discourse. Yeah, you figured it out. You, you figured, figured it out. It. This is the uh, the 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 indie RPG dunk Fall Out Boy job, job, <laughs> fight mode. Exactly. You know, actually, James Malloy does not like Fall Out Boy. James Malloy. James Malloy, my dear friend. Uh. And uh, co-host of uh, Stop Hack and Roll. Does yes. Does not like Fall Out Boy. You heard it here, folks. Oh, here first, folks. That honestly, okay. Like I, I do. I, I, I get it. Like I, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. They're, they're not great. I'm not sitting there being like, God. I wish you know, like, wow. I'm listening to Fall Out Boy. Like, this is. This yeah. is great. Like, like no. I guess maybe I was like 17 and I just discovered music. You yeah. know. I I, I, I like, listen to Fall Out Boy all the time because I because we all listen to the music that we grew up listening to. Yes, not because yeah, it's Fall Out Boy good. is totally great to listen to. I I am I am happy to listen to 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 Fall Out Boy. I'll have I'll put on a good Fall Out Boy song <laughs> any day of the week. Um, Fall Out Boy anti. I think all the time. I, I the fucking. The goddamn! I've been called an anti and a pro shipper by random people online, and I truly don't know how to explain. Like, hello, I am an adult person with a job. Yeah, no, like I, I, pay, I pay taxes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually I not run an a anti company, or actually. <laughs> I am. I'm sorry. We are like. I am just simply not in the. No, no I am not. Yeah. I'm not in the state to give a shit <laughs> about what people on the internet are talking about when they say those words. Truly, I, it. I learned what an anti was, what a pro and an anti was uh, this year, um, <laughs> and I had been called. I'd been called an anti multiple times, and didn't know what it was, and just fully didn't check. I was like. I, I... This I sounds like not relevant to me. <laughs> I only learned what it was because Sarah Zed uh, made a YouTube video about it. And I was like, I'm enjoying this YouTube video. And someone was like, we cannot be friends because of our irreconcilable moral differences. And I'm like, I don't know what you think I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh I truly God. cannot fathom what opinion you think I have right now. And yeah. I, 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 if you're willing to end, I, I don't know. I don't, I truly actually, I, I, I guess it does. I like, it means like, I guess I, don't, I, I, no, I can't do this. I mean, like, I can't, I yeah, can't know what yeah. it No, I refuse. I, I don't think probably that either of us fully know what it means to the fullest extent. I feel like, you I might. feel like, I, I know that I do not. If you to my head, if you demanded I define it for you, I could, I could give you a definition. I feel, but I feel like I, it'll be if, if I asked you to define what it is, I feel like I'd be no better than Joe Rogan. Uh, <laughs> like that is what I feel, and I know that I know that those are unrelated internet entities. But I think just in my soul, I I love the implication of lost. this stream transitioning from Hassan Piker hour to Joe Rogan hour. So it's the Joe Rogan of tabletop RPGs, but Joe Rogan's drawing a frog the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what we're trying to figure out with this first stream is whether I'm gonna be the Hassan Piker or the Joe Rogan, and like that's gonna <laughs> what de- a that's combo. Gonna, that's gonna decide. That's gonna decide the future of this stream. Yeah, that's um, gonna that's gonna shape a lot. 
Yeah. Um, uh, Joe Rogan actually also boy. a person who I didn't really know what his whole deal was until like literally this year. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I think like one of the first things I knew about him was that he said that he said that hamburgers were made out of ham. Go off, King. <laughs> God. <laughs> I think I first learned about him when he smoked weed with Elon Musk, oh but that wasn't because I like cared about Elon Musk or Joe Rogan. I just yeah, like no, it was just you just learned about it. I oh, just was shit. like because there's that picture of Elon Musk like taking a a fat a fat bong rip. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you've you have two stats, Hassan and Joe. Oh God, um, that is. That is trying horrific. desperately to, to wobble on the uh, Nazbol pi- pipeline. Um, <laughs> oh. Um. oh my god! <laughs> if you feel what it's it's like um it's corruption and uh, it's corruption and experience from uh, from Ruby <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, you belong to your darkest self, which is an all right po- <laughs> podcaster who's trying to sell. Uh, like fitness bank oil. <laughs> yeah, I will say if I get the opportunity to sell fitness oil to to the tabletop RPG uh, community, I will be doing that. Uh. <laughs> I, I do think the idea of uh, a darkest self that's a podcaster is really funny to me. I like that too. Uh. <laughs> no, and I'll take that one fucking back. <laughs> So here's one of those funny things of me like seeing words and going like, do I not know the words? Am I going to try to figure this out and going like, you know what? I'm not. I don't know what those words are. <laughs> um, Jeff embraced Nazbol, that dark self years ago. <laughs> Nas Nazbol is basically the unholy union of like Stalinism. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Stalinism and uh, Nazis that came about in like the 1930s. <laughs> it's like a... Oh my like god. A bizarre ideology that is like I don't know, if very internally contradictory. Yeah, even I know that that's that that's not not anything that you can't yeah. be that. Kind of a kind of a little bit of a mess of a thing. Yeah. Um, but it's it's I <laughs> it's true. <laughs> You've got you're allowed. You're you're able to. Um, oh my gosh. It's but, just kind of wild because it is just truly like it's truly like I feel like it is like a thing that I encounter among like like very bullish guys who are like uh who are like like all I care about is being loud and like oh, geez. like uh, like authoritarian and I don't fucking care about why yeah yeah <laughs> it's very uh, it's very like a uh, like you know like college pamphlet hander outer mm, uh, okay to me yeah when i that yeah. college pamphlet hamper hander outer is not what i want to be doing <laughs> thank you for letting me get away with uh that nonsense phrase <laughs> oh, no, by the way fully good you're fully good this is this casual hour this casual it's, hour i'm allowed to say hander outer i i just spent the last five minutes of the stream just trying to put my little view screens back where they're supposed to be because <laughs> i screwed what it up by accident I was wondering. Yeah, no, that's that's what happened. Is I is I clicked something and all of the all of them became the same the same uh, thing, and and that wasn't what I wanted. That ain't it. Wanted. That ain't it. That ain't yeah. it for sure. Definitely. I still have no idea how to put my tools back over here. <laughs> oh yeah, they they uh, they're just there now. They're just they just they, live up there. They float for some reason. And, well, uh, what can you I'm do? Stuck with it. I'm stuck in. Oh, get into no dice oil and you can it? sell it flavored. Flavored dice. If if I could invent flavored dice, I could retire. Oh, I dice are, as because the fact that I only design diceless games, the the oh. entire dice industry, like the way in which it is this like huge adjacent industry, is so fascinating and yeah. also very odd for me. Yeah, I, I, uh, you know, I I love a a themed apocalypse world D six. You know. I, I'll I'll never I'll never turn that down, but like the last time I picked up, oh yeah, absolutely. Actually, you know what? I think I I, I used some dice for um, uh, monsters and other childish things. That that uses a bunch of dice. 
I, I'm working on seven part pack right now, which uses a, a ton of dice. Oh yeah, that does. That does. Cause it's got those funky wizard dice. Now, um, if this was a traditional stream, I'd be asking you to tell, talk to me about that. Tell me, tell me what's going on with that. But, uh, but it I isn't, never so, know. So yeah, um, none of you freaking plebes will ever know. Uh, no, talk about, I, I would love to hear. I, I oh, am so excited from what I've seen I? of it. That looks so cool. I, it's I, really up your alley. It's it's very much in the radical dimension of like many little games. Yeah, yeah. Um, basically, you're you're you you play as some number of wizards. In the end, there will be seven, but mm -hmm. you know, each playbook is a literal book, so you know Incredible. it'll take time. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you're seven wizards, each with your own domain. Uh, of like basically like your portion of the world that is your responsibility to tend to yeah and if you don't like the archipelago you all live on will like fall into chaos and ruin um That's so good and, and some some big cool things are uh each magician has their own rules for their domain which is like this like system you have to be dealing with of like the necromancer has to keep the dead from escaping the gates of death. The prelate has to keep the the fires in the temple burning. Yeah. Um. The warlock has to navigate the court of the king and keep him from making stupid decisions. Um. And then, um, there's also the magic system, which doesn't directly like which overlays on top of it all. So like part of it is like figuring out how the magic relates to your domain. Um, oh, but like cool. the magic is bonkers. It's got a bunch of dice. Um, it does a thing with like, um, what do you call it? all magicians know every single spell. Okay. Like you don't, there's no, there's no limit on the, your, the magic you can access. You can cast incredibly powerful magic anytime you want. The limitation is the knowledge that you might not have planned out the consequences and like okay. you will have to face the consequences if you fuck up. Yeah. Like, the limitation to magic has nothing to do with like your power. It is everything to do with like your intelligence. That's amazing. I'm so excited for this then, game. You have told yeah. me a little bit about it and everything you've told me just makes me more and more excited for it. Yes. Fuck yes. Yeah. Uh, the, my other favorite little bit. I don't know if I told you about the, did I tell you about the orrery? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Um, so in the center of the game, there's a big board. That's um, a star chart. That has all the zodiacs and then the planets on it. Oh, um, cool! And you move those around each month to represent the changing of the stars, and that determines like what's going wrong in your domain, right? Like whether or not That's like your so domain cool. is quiet or active depends on the intersection of the stars. That's incredible. And the and all. Um. Yeah. And so, and then magicians can influence the stars, of course. Right, of course. Yeah, they have yeah. a they, they can go to the orrery and move things around a bit. Uh, and there was a, there was like a great moment in playtesting where um, like two magicians conspired together to set the orrery so neither of them would have to deal with shit next month. But in doing so <laughs> fucked over like these two other magicians. And so they had like a whole like they had a whole fight about it where it was like, oh, you know, like, oh, you, you know, like basically just like screwing over each other for per personal gain is just phenomenal that's incredible uh, that sounds so fun yeah. i'm excited I'm, I'm really excited to check that game out I'm, the one thing i kind of have to fix no before it's ready to like really play i have to make sure that i fix this properly because i haven't had the chance to test it but mm -hmm. um the problem i ran into was that there was a lot of um there there weren't enough uh like like the 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 scheming to player interaction ratio was off. Oh yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people were people were 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 planning. Were like were like they'd go to the GM to have a scene, or they'd like plan, you know, with one other person maybe. But then like that would mean other players would spend eighty percent of the time just like sitting there Hang listening. Out. To yeah, that's right. Like there wasn't really the ability to to have like group engagement in that same way yeah that's um, that's something that i struggled so, with a little bit with uh Passion as well just like yes that uh -huh. like when everybody when everybody's job is to scheme mm -hmm. like you gotta then give them 
space and motivation to get out there yeah. and put it into action, right? Yeah, exactly. You have to kind of walk the balance between like they're they're able to scheme, but also like it doesn't like like it, it kind of you know like, this, like scenes are able to like like everyone's still able to be engaged consistently. Yeah, exactly. It's not just like five solo games happening <laughs> one after the other. Yeah. Um, unless, unless I that's what you want. You know? that, I just have to make sure. You know. Yeah. All right. That's actually looking like a All boat right, right there. Right. All right. Look at that. Yeah. Looking right. handsome. I feel like that's actually it's actually getting somewhere. I'm pretty happy with this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Making me much happier than I was with it before. I still Hell yeah. feel yeah, like it might be a little good. small. But maybe it doesn't. Maybe mm -hmm. that's fine. You know what? I, I, so. I need to make like fourteen minis. I cannot obsess over every single mini. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. There's, you just, will, there's just too much. You will that down that path lies madness yeah, for exactly. sure. Yeah, my my goal is not to be a mini painter. My goal yes. is to be either the Hassan Piker or <laughs> <laughs> and or like Rogan truly, and... <laughs> if you like if you wanted to like do that mini stuff, you should be on Hero Forge, not Affinity, right? Like hundred percent, a hundred percent. Got it. Okay. Um. No, I'm not fucking with that. Oui. And then there'll just oui. be a big gap there where where God knows what a leg looks like. Oh yeah, I mean I think that's pretty fine. Like uh like just get get a little uh get a little curve going on so it doesn't look like he's got a he's got a round dumpy. Yeah. Get or, his dumpy under control a little bit, yeah. and I think I think he'll be good. Oh, that's that's the wrong color. Or lean into it. Lean into it and just be like, yeah. I think that, was a, that, was a line. that was a good line. That's the that's the line you want. Yeah, maybe. Oh man, it needs to be a little thicker than that. Is that yeah. it? I don't know if that's Is it, it. You should be probably doing this while zoomed out so you can see it. In yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah, I would maybe do it from the um, from the top part, not from the bottom part of the leg. Like like there's the like oh look from up from here. The, the like a uh, like from like from the. From the vertical line instead of from the the pants seam, you know, like like from there, mm, but then like okay. low on the vertical line. Yeah, like there, like there, exactly. That I think that's not too bad. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. I this this may be this is gonna be the most controversial. I know we've already said a lot of controversial things today. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know that frogs mm -hmm. need to have big butts. Um, frogs don't have huge dumpies. No, that is true. I, I I would still have the line be convex. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> But yeah, I didn't I don't kind think of do that in the wrong direction, did I? I? I think you're. I think you're very close. I think, I think you're. Very yeah, like, like that is like you're. You're rocking it. You know. I think that'll. Yeah, it's a little too. Oh my gosh. There, there. That's. I'm not I think, wrecking oh. this one. Wonderful, wonderful. I think, I think that's where it wonderful. is. I think that's where it is. Take it to the bank. Take it to the bank, boys. Yeah. Take it to the bank. Quickly, quickly before you I can overthink. Cash it. that one in. You can cash that one in yeah, before the stock market crashes. Yeah, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's let's hope it doesn't. Uh, I don't know. I've got nothing. I don't. I don't think there's a verified account. <laughs> I hope, that's... Hope, the, hope the 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 bank doesn't explode. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll need to figure out uh, how to get that to not happen. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you know what? I might actually just paint over it. Uh, yeah, I would do that. I would just yeah. paint over it. Oh, or I can uh, look frog at it. just look at it really closely. Frog coins does sound like a cryptocurrency. <laughs> I I would be surprised if frog coins is not a thing. Yeah, I put all my I put all my money in frog coins, and now. Because Elon Musk told me to, and now I am uh, destitute Wealthy beyond my wildest uh, dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just... quickly alternate between being wealthy and destitute based yeah. on the day and the value of frog coins. Yeah, which which, <laughs> which does fluctuate an enormous amount. But, yeah, it is know. well because because its main source of value is my own investment. <laughs> so it comes down to like how much would I be willing to pay myself? 
and it turns out a lot. It turns out just yeah, an I enormous like amount. Billions of dollars per frog coin. Yeah. Yeah. If only I was the buyer. It <laughs> should have been should have been the buyer on that one. I <laughs> fucked up. I was the seller instead. Yeah. It jumps. Yeah, that's, it's on purpose. <laughs> they actually designed it to uh to jump. It 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 goes like up and down with a frog. There is a frog mm -hmm. that it is attached to. Oh my god. Have you seen um what's it called have you seen um the lava lamps that they have at uh this one like security place this one like digital cyber security spot i don't think i have so you know how true randomness is really hard yeah yeah and how a computer basically can't you can't make a program to make true randomness yeah so what you can do instead of building a program to create true randomness, you can just point a scanner at an object that is like random enough, right? Just oh, naturally okay. random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like have it extrapolate yeah. some data out of there. Exactly. You just like basically, you know, you like, and that will generate an unpredictable string unless someone is like, you know, has their camera in the same spot, right? Right. And yeah. you could do that with anything. You could do it with neutrinos. You could do that with, like, cosmic radiation. Um, or you can do it with lava lamps. Um, oh, that makes and sense. So that makes Cloudflare sense. Cloudflare has a wall of lava lamps and a camera. Um, and it just pulls, like, it just pulls data it. from that. That's so yeah. funny. I mean, Isn't I guess that it, phenomenal? I guess it would work. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Yeah. It's, like, more random than if you used a computer program. Right, because you're you're getting something that is inherently itself random. Yeah, cause, and because it's, it's like a computer program. If you know how the program works, you can figure out the randomness. Whereas um, they just, you know... They're actually, before randomness, before computer programs... There was a book you could buy. I had I was owned a book that book. Random numbers. <laughs> yeah, I, I owned, love that. I owned that book for uh for D and D purposes. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. You use mm -hmm. it instead of rolling dice. Yep. Yep. How uh, do you how do you ensure that the number you're getting is actually like what if what if you like look ahead or something like is that a problem with the book of pure randomness? It, there's so many numbers that like, okay. like it, it's just, it's like, it is a book that is, it's difficult to even look at this book because it's just, it's just numbers. It looks like nothing that like the human mind can comprehend. And like, at least, for me, at least for me, I like, I would look at it and it would be like, uh, if I even thought to try to cheat, which, which like, you know. Mm -hmm. If yeah, I was going to cheat, I would just make up a number, you know, like I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am pro cheating in D&D, &D, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, but I wouldn't do it in hard this mode by memorizing numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it, it's just it's just incomprehensible. It's so many numbers. For me, at least. That's. Yeah, I, I want to get it so it can sit on my shelf next to. um. The Apollo 47 mission briefing game. I almost literally said that it, it goes right next to the Apollo, <laughs> the Apollo game. Yeah. It's that same kind of artifact, you know, like that it's, that it is like. Yeah. Just an object that just truly does not feel like it was made for humans. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're starting to get somewhere. That, that game is not is great. <laughs> We're I think you're really getting somewhere. I think you're really onto something. I also I have a funny thing that, that my color vision is not fantastic. And so mm -hmm. like I have times that I'm actually like I don't know like like I can tell colors from like the the breastplate is bron mm -hmm. is orangey, bronzy, goldy, somewhere in that range. The pants are mm -hmm. blue because I thought it would be funny to stick jeans on for a second. Uh, mm -hmm. But, like, between, like, you know, people do, like, they'll be here and they'll go like this. They'll go like this. Go like this. That's mm -hmm. all the same color to me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. I have extremely sensitive color eyes, though 
not God, as sensitive as for Rub, once again. <laughs> but I um it only it only comes up when I'm being I'm I'm being very particular. Yeah. Um my my party trick is that I can tell the difference between CMYK black and true black. Dang. Um, when when um I, I was in school and uh and there was someone who was doing like some kind of research with uh with uh color vision and so they found like this online like it was like low 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 impact uh thing enough that they could just grab a random little test online of like put these colors in the right order and we'll use this as our scale yeah. it doesn't matter um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh all of them were doing it and going like hey this scale doesn't work because all of us are getting like 98 percent, 97 percent 100 percent and i sat down on it i i pulled a sixth percentile <laughs> oh my god yeah uh <laughs> Because apparently there's like a there's like a specific kind of color blindness that uh you just can't tell the difference between shades. Yeah, and so I am shade I guess, deficient. <laughs> is this like a like what do you call like? So you you don't have you don't have like a particular cone issue. Like you can you don't. Like it's not like you can't tell it between red and green or something like that. It's like you just can't. I can't. It's like the, the the colors blend together. Yeah, yeah. Like like I'll be like, I, I was I was gonna see if I could find it quickly, but I I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Yeah, I'm, do a do a color test for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me just do a quick color test. Um, uh, I can't. Color find test. It. There, there's some name for it. I don't remember what it's called. Um, mm-hmm. but so basically like, like, you know how like people will go like, you know, oh, uh, like, like, uh, like you don't want to wear clothes that are, um, if you're shade deficient, you should look into umbrellas. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, you don't want to wear like a shirt and like, you, you, you wouldn't like, uh, like, like a suit pants and a suit jacket that are like just barely, barely off from each other. You know, because it, it it looks yeah, it looks like it's not intentional. Uh, yeah, if it's too close, that's the kind of thing that I would do that I can very easily do, of just like, uh, or say like, thinking two people are wearing the exact same color or something like that. Here, Brandon, I'm gonna send you a link. Yeah, pull that up on stream. Pull that up on your OBS and then do it. I think this is the thing, actually. Mm-hmm, this, probably. This, is, this is if this is not exactly the thing, this is very close to the thing. I mean, this is like a quicker version of the thing. Yeah, but pull um, it up, pull it up on OBS. I think OBS is right now just on, on Affinity. Yeah, I, I think I can. Oh yeah, it is on Affinity. I don't want to show everybody my desktop at all times. Uh, let me see. Let me remember how to do this. I, I always joke that um that there is nobody braver than people that mess around with what they're they're looking at uh in mm. in OBS like while they're doing stuff and oh now, yeah for and sure now I'm gonna do it now I'm gonna do it okay let's see can I toss this above affinity all right I did it all right heck yeah let's accept all cookies. Yeah, this is exactly the kind of thing. The the, far, the Farnsworth Munsell, yes. Okay. So, I don't think you can... Oh, there it is. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, hell yeah, here we go. All right, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. At this point, this is already probably looking pretty easy. Um, <laughs> and I'm already having a little bit of difficulty. Just give it your best shot. Give it your best shot. I want to do it, too. I'm going to do it, too. Yeah, yeah. We can come. Let's see how it no, goes. This, this goes over here. I can do this. So, like, from from here, from basically. Oh wait, no. This is this is yellow. Some sometimes you move them, and then you can start to see where they go. Uh, and so from like he, currently for me, from here to here is the same color. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> like and like you can see like that is like 70% of this of this range. 
I have yeah. hit what yeah. I can do on the top one. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Like you can see why I did not score very well. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Please, 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 the next one. I'm only, so I'm done with the second one, I think. <laughs> That's as best as I can do on the second one. On the second one? On the second that, one, I'm done. done. I'm done on the second one. It's my streaming this moment. I'll catch up to see uh, how bad it is that you're doing. It's bad. It's wow, bad. Okay, yeah, 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 you're done. Yeah, you're done. Totally. <laughs> the the third one, the third one, I, this is the only one that looks different from any of the rest of them. Oh my god. And this goes here. This one started done. This one started basically done. I got lucky. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it started basically done. It started basically I would done. Describe it as it's well. Describe that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. 42. <laughs> so, yeah, I was going to say, it, uh, it does not look done to me. <laughs> I That is a uh, massive improvement because I, I suspect that that my score is pretty much just random. That it's like, because so, it, it's remember, all the same. This, These are all the same colors test, for me. With this test, a lower score is better. Yeah, so um, so I think that... So that, you got a 42? I've, I got a 42. Let me, let me, let's let's stick this on some... I, I can tell you what I got, if you'd like. Yeah, what, what did you get? A two. A two? Yeah. Wait, it's a, a two? That's yeah. incredible. Um, yours looked really wrong when I was watching you do it. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. This is what it. This is what I had. I think. Um. No, this isn't what I had before. All right. Unfortunately, all right. All th right. this is this is such a funny thing to end on, but I'm realizing that I've got to get going. I got a couple things I gotta get done. It's, oh it looks, yeah. No it worries. looks like I was like I did poorly on this quiz. I'm out of here. But actually, I, I think I did better that time than the other times I've done it. Um, I, I got, yeah. that, I, got above, I got that's above 80 every other time. <laughs> oh, oh my God. And like when you when you went and like looked because I did like the full test also, I got yeah. the sixth percentile of people on that's that one. So it's so oh it's Lord. so yeah yeah so you know everyone's different everyone's different you've got oh, totally. uh you've got oh, color yeah. blindness yeah you're not fucking kidding you're not fucking around yeah no it's like <laughs> all right but Hell yeah. uh, well, thank, you, thank you for indulging me in that oh my god absolutely uh, the, 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 well this is what i'm talking about this is like getting getting the community together doing fun things and just kind of playing around that's what that's what i see for for oh, the industry this in makes me want to maybe i'll Maybe I'll get back into the streaming life. Yeah, yeah, do it up. <laughs> I'll tune in. Future, but and, uh, I might be gonna get going. I got, I got to figure out dinner. So I think yeah. I will catch you later. Take Absolutely. care and take care, chat. And thank you very take much care. for hanging out with yeah. me, for chatting, and, and for helping with my frog. I'm so much happier with my frog now, actually. Your frog looks phenomenal. Your frog turned out great. That's Not a that's a frog night if I ever seen. I love the subtle little shading on his arm. He looks. Thank he looks, you. He looks golden. He looks ready to. He, he looks proud and ready to, to go out and go on an adventure. That's the goal. That's the goal. Mm -hmm, All mm -hmm. right, folks. Nice All hanging right. out with everybody. Have a, Have a great Take night. Care. Bye.